Hello boys, girls, and others. My name is Sir Glaceon, and today I'm joined with in the background Hoops. Ah, a lot of people. A lot of people. There's a lot of boys here tonight. Chaz is here, aka. Never been on a video before. Yep, Chaz and King Walreen, they're twins. They're twinsies. Uh, not real, but uh, anyway. Uh, today, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a deck profile for you, and hopefully, we took a picture of my list, and hopefully that'll be somewhere on the screen, hopefully, on this side I'm pointing, so Mr. Editor Man does it. So, um, um so, a uh, hot deck in the meta, not, not really in the meta, I mean, I, it's somewhat of... The, I don't want to call it a rogue deck, but it's not really not seeing terrible much play, but you know, I'm hoping that it will. And that deck is Empoleon from Ultra Prism. And here is Empoleon from Ultra Prism. And the reason that this card is good, the reason that this card is good specifically is for its first attack. Attack that total command. And what total command does is this attack does 20 damage for each benched Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. So, if you have a full bench and your opponent has a full bench, you're hitting 200 with that attack. If you put a choice band on it, you're hitting for 230. Which, that's pretty good. That knocks out a lot of the big meta cards. So, um, that is why this is kind of a good card. Um, so, in in this this deck, um, I'm running running four of them. I don't know why I would run any other amount of them. I mean, <laughs> that's what this is what the deck is. It's Empoleon. So I'm running four of them. Um, it's previous evolution print plop. I'm only running two, and the, the reasoning for that is you will see later. I'm running rare candies because you want to be able to rare candy into Empoleon because it just gets you that setup. It's an easier setup than trying to go all the way through the line. Um, Piplups. Gotta run Piplups, otherwise you're just... You don't have a deck at that point. So I'm running four Piplups. Fancy uh, Toys R Us promo, these boys. <laughs> what? That's, that's what I'm running of the Empoleon line. So in, in my particular list, running four Piplups, two Primplup and four Empoleon, and that, that's been working out pretty well for me. I haven't run into any problems with that yet. So let's get to the, the other Pokemon that I'm running, because it's an Empoleon deck, but you can't just run an Empoleon with nothing, so... Uh, I mean, you can, but, uh, you know, not, not the best idea. So what, what Pokemon support it? I'm running a one of Alolan Vulpix. And my reasoning for that is its first attack, which is just Volpix's best girl. You heard it here first. Uh, I'm running this Volpix because first attack beacon, search your deck for two Pokemon for no energy. Uh, if you start this, it's great. Um, it, it's good late game, it's good mid game. It's just, it's a good card all around because you have that ability to search for two Pokemon. The only downside is nine times out of ten when you beacon, you're probably going to get end. But sometimes you can use that to your advantage if you play a little bit of Trixie Hobbitses. You know, just go in with beacon, grab something to bait out that end. And then there you go, you got a new hand that might be better than the bad hand that you have. Uh, the next Pokemon I'm running here in my Pokemon uh, count is Remoraid and Octillery. Just running a 1-1 one, one Remoraid Octillery. Not the correct Remoraid. <laughs> I'm running a different one, which, hold on, hold on, let me see if I can find it. This one. This is the one that you want to run. Uh, the, we call it, we call it uh, that direction, that one. And the reason that you would play this one over the other one, there's no health difference. Just this one, for a colorless, you have an ability to discard a stadium, which is just just a generally good attack if, you know, say this some... For whatever reason that gets stuck in the active, you have a way to get rid of a stadium if there is one. Um, also, uh, Paranormal City. 
Also Parallel City, you know, that could get rid of Parallel City for you. Now here's where we get a little bit interesting. I'm running a 2-1 Glaceon GX. Now you might be asking yourselves, Sir Glaceon, why on earth would you run yourself in the deck? Here's why. Uh, the EV that you run with it is the Energy Evolution EV. Which what that means, if you don't know what it means, when you attach a basic energy from your hand to this Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon with the same type as an energy that you put onto this Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. Does this get around the first turn evolving? Mm -hmm. That gets around evolving on your first turn. So say you start this, uh, whether you go first or second, throw it down, attach an energy, evolve into Glaceon, and here's what's great about Glaceon. Glaceon's ability is as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's GX's and EX's in play in their hand and their discard pile have no abilities. If you start this, they can't Lele. They can't use any abilities, and it's just you've really sort of screwed them over at that point. And another nice that you you're very rarely going to be attacking with this so i mean don't really worry about that but um you know while while they're trying to get rid of this because you you've shut off all their abilities so they're kind of hopeless at this point it, it give her you know kind of uh they're going to focus this thing meanwhile on your bench you're setting up your empoleons you're getting your bench count up so that as soon as this thing you know leaves the active you can just come in with a Napoleon and start swinging with it. So, kind of kind of a nice thing to run. Um, I was running a 2-2 of it. And that seemed to be a little bit much, so I, I took one of them out for the, the Alolan Vulpix that you saw a little bit ago. Then, uh, Lele. You can't run a deck without Lele, unless you do... And in which case, call me, because I want to know how you've accomplished that. I'm running two Leleys, but wait, these aren't real Leleys. No, they're not. These are not real Leleys. There are some very nice uh, proxies made by a friend of ours. Uh, very high quality proxies. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm running, you all should know what Lele does. It's, it's a staple in pretty much every deck. On to items, because... Can't do a deck without items. I'm running four Ultra Ball. Pretty pretty standard to run that amount of Ultra Balls. Um, one nice thing, you know, yeah, you can search for Pokemon, but a nice thing that you can do with it, normally in any deck, you don't really want to be discarding energies. There's an exception with this deck. You can discard with Ultra Balls in this deck because I run or Aqua Patches. What Aqua Patch does is you play it, attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So you can just, if you really need to search for something with Ultra Ball, feel free to uh, discard energies because you can get them back with Aqua Patch and just put them right onto, their, onto your bench. You know, you can set up stuff a lot faster that way than just trying to draw into it. Um, next item here four rare candies gotta have rare candies in this deck uh rare candy just you know evolve your pip ups right into an empoleon don't even have to worry about the print ups and bam ba boom you're you're set up you can just start doing it your game's won at that not really you're, the game's not won at that point but you know you're heading in the right direction are uh, two flowstone. <laughs> I'm running two flowstones. Flowstones are nice, just to slap it on your uh, uh, slap it on your butt or your octillery or lele, so you know they can't lock those in the active with Guzma. You can just free retreat into something else. So I'm running two of those. Um, two choice band. I'm running. Um, I I'm debating working a third one in just because it's a good card you know it does attach it to something 30 more to your opponent's gx's and ex's 
I feel like a third one might just add a little bit more, you know, punch to the deck, but I, I haven't really, you know, looked at it extensively yet to work one of those in. Rescue Stretcher, um, pretty, pretty much a staple card. You know, you can get Lele's back from your discard pile so you can use them again, or, you know, if it's getting late game, your deck's getting kind of low, shuffle, st shuffle uh, three Pokemon back in. And ba boom, you got them back. You can get them back through homestead of ever means you you want. And along the lines of Rescue Stretcher, I'm running just a one of Super Rod. Uh, it's really nice, just like Rescue Stretcher. You can shuffle in a combination of Pokemon or basic energy cards. That nice voice crack on my part there. Uh, back into your deck, just just a really nice card. Um, one of Field Blower kind of risky running just one that that's another thing where i might need to look at it and see if maybe i could work a second one in because field blower sometimes you know can save games you know if you can knock a stadium out knock some item out that's you know really messing with you you know ye pow pad uh pow pad um came out in ultra prism or was it in a set before Ultra Prism? Flashfire. Flashfire was it in, in Flashfire? Yeah. Um, shuffle two supporter cards from your discard pile back in your deck. Um, pretty good. Uh, you can you can put uh, can put your Guzmas back in, your Ends, your Professor Sycamores, your Cynthia's, uh, your Bridgets. If you would need to do that for some reason. Um, you know, you can you can get that back. Yeah, you know, do that. Two Brooklyn Hills. I'm running two Brooklyn Hills, and the reason that I'm doing that, um, it's good draw support. It allows you to search for a basic water Pokemon, which a lot of time, you know, if you're having a, li uh, a Lily, if you're having a Lily, I don't know why I said that. If you're having a really uh, slow start. Uh, you know, you can place one of these down, you know, search for a basic uh, water and, you know, sort of start getting the engine moving on your deck. On to supporters. Boy, this is a lot of talking. <laughs> uh, Have you I'm, seen the Drake and Josh video before? Please no. <laughs> I'm running uh, three Professor Sycamores. Um, for the longest time, the staple in a lot of decks was four Sycamores, but... We've started, you know, the, the meta has kind of started moving away from that a little bit. And the reason Cynthia was uh, released. And Cynthia is just an all-around pretty great card, which we will get to in a, a minute here. But Cynthia, I completely, my train of thought just exploded. Professor Sycamore, running three of them. I think I was saying something about the meta. I was. Oh well, I'm running three of these. It's been working pretty good for me. Um, haven't run into a whole bunch of trouble with that. Um, two ends and two Cynthia's. Uh, that's a pretty pretty solid thing, I think, right there, just from my deck. Um, and you know, you both shuffle and draw your amount of prize cards, which is really good for disrupting your opponent. Um, in fact, a uh, fun little story: I was playing against uh, Master Jigs earlier today. And uh, he was playing a, a Garchomp deck, and I think N is what won me one of the games mm -hmm. because I just kept kept shuffling his hand in, and uh, it really disrupted him hard. <laughs> um, Cynthia, really, really good card. You just shuffle, draw six. That is great uh, late game. Um, great late game because uh you know if you got a low hand just uh just shuffle draw seven you don't have to worry that your your prizes are low you don't have to drop anything with sycamore just a just a fancy 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 feast right there <coughs> Guzma. run into two of these boys um Guzma just pretty much a staple in a lot of decks it's good for you know if you need there's some on their bench that you can get a knockout on better than you could get on their their um on that's in their active you can just guzma 
And another reason I'm wearing Floatstone is because of Guzma, because then you can just put something up, retreat back into a Napoleon, and just smack away with it. Um, I feel like we're, we're getting toward the end here. Bridget! Focus. Great card in this deck. Uh, you can Lele for it turn one, or if you know you draw into it beginning of the game, you just got three basics on your bench. It's a good time. And I'm running a 1 of Skyla. It's not a lot of decks run Skyla much anymore, but I, I like to run it just because sometimes, you know, if you just need that one trainer card that's going to turn the game around, you can you can drop Skyla and you'll you'll um, you got your you got your your ding dong right there in your hand. That can be taken a thing. Uh, as for energies, because energies are a big part. I'm running, uh, I believe, nine. I'm running nine water energies. That's been working out pretty well for me. Um, haven't run into too many problems with that. Um, so, uh, yeah. I was originally running uh, splash energies, but the, the splash energies didn't really they weren't really doing too much with me, so I just took them out for basic energies. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I don't know, maybe maybe one of these days I'll look at it again and see if I could do something with Splash Energy, but uh, uh, yeah, so that's my uh, Empoleon list. Uh, by no means is my list the best list that's out there. I'm sure somebody has found a way to do it infinitely better than I have. Um, but, you know, if you want to use my deck list just sort of as a template and, you know, fool around with it a little bit and see what you can do with Empoleon, have at it. That's that's why I made this. Um, so, yeah, uh, leave a, a like and a comment. If you like this video, comment, uh, comment something about Emperor Poop. Uh, and, yeah, make sure that you subscribe to us for more Pokemon content like uh, vlogs, and live streams and <clears throat> more videos like this, pack openings, remorades, bidoofs, all that fun stuff. Uh, so yeah, I have been Sir Glaceon with a whole bunch of boys in this room. And I will see you next time.